respected members of jury and all my education friends i chetan shah managing trustee of ekalavya public school junagar gujarat wish you all a very wonderful morning ekalavya public school the name itself exemplifies the ancient guru shishya parampara we at ekalavya public school perfectly believes in blending of the modern education technology as well as the human performance technology which we call as applied science one of the example of our educators uses all the modern technology along with the we the uh, e classes or virtual labs or uh, e library along with that uh, maths and science lab and they try to Uh, discover try to encourage the students to discover the unexplored horizons one of the example is the magnetic train that is a train which runs through magnetic levitation actually just by showing them a video it click to some of the students uh, click to the mind of the, some of the students of class 11 and they have prepared a magnetic train model which has been exhibited in at the nehru science center national level science fair and which has been specially appreciated by the members of r&d of the indian railway department about the future ready curriculum we just try to make them at par be it a national board be it an international board and in this process we have already published our 10 books with integrated syllabus and many more are in the pipeline we believe that every human is different and our motto is no child is to be ignored now in this in this case naturally we have to make the tailor made syllabus and with this we have implemented a child psychology and guidance center with a certified child psychologist and with us uh, we have identified such different students and we have brought them back into the mainstream so this total 32 students have been benefited by this last year stationary shop within the school premises the only the student manage this shop and by this because we all know that moral values cannot be taught within the other root and the stem you know the stem of any tree upholds it and likewise through this stem the moral values are being processed and they are being transformed into the various branches and by that the society at large can reap the fruits and can get the benefit of it at this juncture i would like to request all my education is friend to please uphold the stem in the education system because stem is the spinal cord of any nation and education system if we uphold it in the education system i think we can contribute in the growth of the nation i think that's it from my side thank you very much any questions from the jury okay can i ask you uh, what role do you see which they should ignore and they are not worrying for those things for which they should be alert so by having a constant seminar by having constant uh, knowledge giving things we can educate them that these are the things for which you should look at and these are the things we should not uh, look at definitely the role of parents is very important okay, and make it a little more explicit and uh, just to for a comment uh, we keep talking about new technology e learning etc etc and we are continuously putting the students of the new generation to new technology whereas the parents are not exposed to that kind of technology and they are an important interface do you believe there is something required to manage the change that happens which is creating a generation gap there i think that if you see
see the uh, we we do, I, I don't think that the students uh, that parents are need to be educated in, in this technology uh, part of thing because the students themselves they are uh, grasping it very fast and uh, be it a mobile or something like that whatever electronic gadget it may be they are very fast to it and uh, so I think that it is uh, hardly required but I think the core part is that we should educate them on what is required for their students or what is required for their squads. Always uh, somehow uh, delivered to the public that the school teaches the parents uh, as uh, just mentioned by you and somehow we become the preachers you know we become the teachers not only of the children but also of the parents. Uh, what is your thought about learning both from the students and the parents? I think parents can contribute so much and I am sure the parents know a lot. Their wisdom cannot be doubted and that is what is India is all about. So what is it that you teach the parents uh, specifically that I would like to know? Uh, we don't teach first of all, we just give them a knowledge and which we know, which we know. Otherwise you have rightly said that parents have a uh, very good role, they have wisdom also and uh, we can learn constantly from them also. It is not the case but uh, to be very specific, uh, in, uh, in today's era uh, the children are more pampered. So, uh, for example, if I, I would like to say one thing that uh, uh, the teacher cannot uh, say anything to the student. Now, it is a hot issue, I think, for every school. Now, in that case, uh, they lose their confidence. That is what we have seen. So, uh, we like to uh, educate them in this way. Well, uh, you see, uh, we uh, think that holding whether by limited way. So there is no conflict really. Uh, so I haven't really been able to follow when you say that teachers should have the right to scold. Now you say scolding is a very, very, uh, uh, you know, a, a kind of, uh, it's called elasticity. So you can scold harshly, you can scold, uh, you know, finishing the confidence of a child. So why should we at all have that concept? I think it's love, love and love. I have two guys. One, you have given an example of backlash. Yeah. Can you specifically tell what was the contribution of the students and teachers internally and what was to what extent is the outside support of it? What, what was the outside support? Yeah. See actually uh, one of our physics teachers and the students, uh, they have made this model. Technically I don't know much about that and uh, we have given them all types of support uh, financially and all, all types of support from management side, whatever is required to be given. And uh, in terms of feature readiness, uh, do you have a system of constantly upgrading your uh, skills of your teachers? Yeah. Can okay. you get some examples? Yeah, for that uh, we do have a teacher's training uh, session regularly at regular intervals and also uh, to make them aware of this technology uh, but whenever the teacher comes they go through first uh, this e-classes and e-labs and uh, all this technology and that's how we train them. Thank you. Thank you very much. Navrachna School, Vadodara, Gujarat.